Today we are going to discuss the alternate exterior angles theorem, its converse, how to identify exterior angles, and how to know if they are congruent. Let's begin. Alternate exterior angles are created when three lines intersect. A line that crosses two or more other lines is called a transversal. Often two of the lines will be parallel, setting up some interesting angles with the transversal. When a transversal crosses two other lines, it creates an exterior and interior for the parallel lines. Alternate exterior angles are created in the space outside the parallel lines on alternating sides. Interior angles are created in the space inside the parallel lines. Here are lines TR and IP, which would definitely cross somewhere in the distance. We cut across TR and IP with transversal SW, and where the transversal crosses TR and IP, we have points L and O. We can write each angle with three letters, angle SLT, angle SLR, and so on down to angle POW. We can also use numbers in these same vertices. So angle SLT is 1, angle SL is 2, and so on, ending with angle POW as 8. The four exterior angles are angle 1, angle 2, angle 7, and angle 8. Alternate exterior angles are pairs that appear outside the crossed lines and on different lines, like angle 1 and angle 8, and angle 2 and angle 7. Now let's look at this again with parallel lines. When two lines are parallel, the transversal creates congruent alternate exterior angles. The alternate exterior angles theorem states that if a pair of parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the alternate exterior angles are congruent. Here we have a new pair of parallel lines crossed by a transversal. The exterior angles are these same four angle 1 and angle 8, and angle 2 and angle 7. This time, because the lines crossed by the transversal are parallel, we can use the alternate exterior angles theorem to state that the alternate exterior angles are congruent. That is, angle 1 is congruent to angle 8, and angle 2 is congruent to angle 7. Next, let's talk about the converse of the alternate exterior angles theorem, which is also true. The converse of the alternate exterior angles theorem states that if alternate exterior angles of two lines crossed by a transversal are congruent, then the two lines are parallel. Here is a drawing with parallel lines and a transversal. If we know that angle 8 measures 130 degrees, what is the measure of angle 1? Angle 8 is on the outside of the bottom parallel line, and to the right of the transversal. That means angle 1 is its alternate exterior angle partner. So the alternate exterior angles theorem tells us that angle 1 is also 130 degrees. That's all there is to it. Now you know that angles on the opposite sides of a transversal and outside two lines are called alternate exterior angles and that when lines crossed by the transversal are parallel, you can use the alternate exterior angles theorem to know the alternate exterior angles are congruent.